How we live is not trivial matter. Racing around in a state of agitation and greed and envy isn't just wasting our lives. It's a symbol of much that is wrong with our world. And reading all different kinds of books is not simply reading all different kinds of books. It's a way of becoming more fully human and more humane. When I read, I'm reminded to be more thoughtful about how I approach each day. And that's not just important for living. It's the least I can do for the dead. I read to live. I read for life. That's from the book that I want to introduce to you, Books for Living by Will Schwalb. Will Schwalb happens to be the author of uh, one of the best-selling books, The End of Your Life Book Club. And uh, I've not read that book. And this is the first book that I'm reading of it. This, this book, The Books for Living, is a, it's a book for book lovers. It's a book for book lovers by book lover. And uh, the interesting thing about this book is it's, uh, it's, each chapter is about a book and uh, how he connects the book and its characters to a learning in life, to something that he's learned in life. He takes a piece of his life and connects that with the book. So it's not really about the specific book or um, it's more about how he connects with that book, how his how he connects his life and other people's life. For example, it starts with uh, the book, The Importance of Living, and he talks about slowing down in life. Then he talks about the, the book, The Girl on the Train, if you remember, uh, it came up as a movie as well. And he talks about uh, trusting. He talks about uh, Stuart Little, and, uh, and his, his point there is about searching. He talks about... Uh, gift from sea and uh, discusses recharging. He discusses lateral thinking to talk about solving problems. Zen in the art of archery and that he talks about how to master the art of reading. It's not just the books that I mentioned here. Uh, it's also a lot of books that he have actually referred as part of this books by John Grisham, Kafka, and a lot of, lot of those, those books and quotes from those books. He talks about reading Lolita in Tehran and discusses how it is important to choose one's life. And uh, when it comes to traveling, he talks about an interesting book called uh, A Journey Around My Room. It's that there's so much parts of the room that you live in, the house that you live in, that you have not traveled to. And uh, pretty pretty interesting book. And I think uh, any book lover should definitely read this book. And uh, I think most of the books that he has mentioned over here, interestingly, I've not read. So uh, it's it's given me a, a lot of uh, insights into what I should potentially read next uh, next year. Uh, and a lot of fiction books and uh, even non-fiction books, but I think I'm not that good at reading fiction, so I think uh, there might be a lot of uh, books that I want. And I'm and the uh, the the first part that I read that was uh, the last paragraph of the book. And uh, I want to read something else again from this book, and I'm just thinking, what could that be? I didn't really. Next time when I do a uh, a video. I'll I'll make sure that I note some of the interesting parts of the book that I can read out loud. Uh, yeah, he talks about 1984. That's that's interesting. Um, so every so when you each chapter, if you look at it, is as I said, an essay about a book and how that book connected him as a as a reader and uh, as an author and as an individual uh, we uh, i believe that every book that we read we we also connect that book in some way with our life and uh, some of the characters within the book walk out of the book and uh, travel with us throughout our life uh, i i have a lot of characters from the books that i've read and i'm sure you have to so i think if you're going to pick up a book 
the books for the living interesting book again you could probably finish it off in a few days uh, easy reading if you love books this is the book that you should have okay take care